My favorite scripture in the Book of Mormon changes from time to time. I joined the church when I was 17 years old, and now for 41 years I've had an opportunity to constantly read in the Book of Mormon. And I, I can't pick it up and read it without feeling its power as a witness and testimony of Jesus Christ. The scripture I'd like to look at, though, today is 2 Nephi 2, verse 11. One we're quite familiar with, I think we hear it a lot. For it must needs be that there is an opposition in all things. Very simple. That's only part of the scripture of the prophet Lehi teaching his son. Have you ever stopped to think how profound that is? That if there was no evil, there would be no good. If there was no sin, there could be no righteousness. And if there's no sin, there's no law. And if there's no law, there's no God. And if there's no God, what is there? But basically he states that all things would be a compound in one if there was no opposition. There would be no freedom because we couldn't choose good or evil. We couldn't choose anything for that matter. So when we look at the world and we look at suffering and we look at all the things that take place that we deem unjust, it's only in our short-sighted uh, vision that these things seem so. Because in the long term, all things will be made right. All things will be reconciled through the atonement. Those that suffer will be justly compensated. And the whole understanding of this is the fact that there's agency. There would be no agency if there was no opposition. And that's why Satan could rebel, because he had the choice and the freedom to do so, because he is an eternal being. And that's the way it is with all of us. We can choose good or evil, and, and the consequences follow because there's great eternal laws. And that's the wonder of the Book of Mormon. It testifies of Jesus Christ. Who wouldn't want a second witness of the Savior? It's been such to me and been confirmed many times.